Hello YouTube, Joe here from Metafish. So I want to do my first review video. This video is a review on some Pleco Caves. Actually, they're cichlid caves that I purchased on PlecoCaves.com. This is not a sponsored video. This is in no way a discounted purchase. Uh, I just want to do a video and I met the guy at a GBAC convention. Super nice guy. Very small business and amazing prices, and I purchased some caves and I'm super happy with them. So I decided to order some more. And I don't order too many different aquarium products nowadays. So I figured a uh, perfect time for me to do an unboxing video, I'll show you exactly what you get for a very low amount of money. So I purchased uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different caves. You'll see here in a second. My grand total was $83, and shipping was free. So shipping over $75 is free right now, an amazing deal. So uh, let's jump right into it. I mean, this box showed up in the mail. It's uh, perfect condition. It was shipped out as soon as it was uh, the order was placed. I mean, I got this pretty much the next day. I believe it was the next day, and I live pretty close to them, though, so I think that had something to do with it, but very quick shipping. So a lot of packing tape on here, I've got a very sturdy box, not your cheap box. So I gotta cut through all this extra tape here. Alright. So first thing on top of the box is a lot of extra, very thick. Uh, paper bag material, almost a cardboard style, very strong, it's not uh, real flexible, it's just got that it stay in the shape that it's in, so quite a bit of that, hopefully there's no cave in here, <laughs> so there we go, and here's the first cave, So this was a pretty simple, I believe this was the large cichlid breeding butler. So a nice big opening for your cichlids to go inside. I can see something like a Cremenzis or a Pistogram enjoying a cave like this. And nice flat bottom for them to lay their eggs in. So there's one of those. This would be the breeding, I just want to make sure I say the right name, this is the breeding egg. Again, it's made out of terracotta, but a smaller opening, so pistogrammas would be really nice for this. I think I'm going to put this in with my calvus to see if they're interested in breeding in this, or some of my small South American cichlids. So that's the breeding egg. Okay, so this is a breeding bell, and these were recommended me for calvus because the female can get further back in the bell shape, and the male cannot get at her. So she can lay her eggs, he can fertilize them, and they seem to work pretty well for calvus and compressive sep type cichlids. So I think I ordered two of those terracotta bells. Yep, so there's another one. Perfect condition. Another layer of newspaper. Some of that out of the way. Alright, so this one's pretty heavy here. Now this is a calvus cave. It sits flat on the bottom and the calvus like the tall opening, but very narrow. So they like to get in here again. The females like to get in and lay their hands in a very confined space like this. Have this for my yellow calvus and hopefully we'll be breeding here shortly. And I think I got quite a few calvus caves so I'll just breeze through those again wrap really nicely all individually wrapped. 
another calvis cave. And those are the single calvis caves. I also have one double here. This one's heavy. So here's the double. It's made out of one piece and then folded over upon itself. So it kind of gives them the option. They can choose if they want to pick one of the or the other. So I'm going to run out of space. I'll set this one up there. This one seems familiar. I think this is another one of the cichlid huts. Yep. Nothing fancy, but uh, I do like the looks of them, and I can see the cichlids really enjoying them. They're cheap. That's what I really like about them. I'm not going to break the bank. Did I order two of these? So there's another double calvis cave. I don't remember ordering two of them. Says I did. Yeah, so I ordered two of both, so this is the second double. And one of the openings on both of them is a little bit wider than the other. So none of them are completely the same, but pretty nice. So on the very bottom here, this is probably. Yeah. So these are, I've had great success with these. These are pretty heavy. These are pretty sturdy burrito cakes. They come in three different colors, and I just chose a couple different colors. But uh, my Neolamprologus, the Bershardi type cichlids, my Cygnus in particular, they really took to one of these caves. They like the small opening and being able to go inside the entire cave and make a home out of it. So I decided to pick up a few more. So I believe that might be all that's left here. So there's a black one. I'm sure it'll look real nice in the water once it gets wet. So that's two burrito caves. Oh no, I, I got a couple different things too. So this would either be for small pocosmus or shrimp. It's basically just a triple. The ends are capped on this one. So let me tell you what this one is and why I bought it. They, they also come where the ends are open if you have fish that prefer that. This would be the Shrimp Cave, Triple Cave, Pleco Condo Medium, they call it this. So the smaller ancestress would definitely like this. They could uh, get their fins out to the right size to trap the female in there to lay the eggs. So I think I only got one of these just to try it out. I don't have any sometimes different cichlids like different types. Different placostomists like different types. So I thought this one was a super good deal. Now that I see how big it actually is, this is a pretty cool piece of pottery here. This is uh, the cichlid breeding I wish I had more room to put all this stuff. This is the 2.75 inch breeding tree brown. So it's got three holes going around it, open on both ends, pretty hefty, a little bit of a coarse material on it. It's not super smooth, which I'm sure the fish would enjoy. But it's just a really nice hide for it. And something like this, currently the price on this is only $7. So I thought that was pretty amazing, especially with free shipping. It's a great deal. So I picked one of those up, and the rest might just be a whole lot of this cardboard stuff. Yep. Absolutely no damage came to any of it. So there you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different uh, new breeding and just decorations for the aquarium for $83. So I'm really happy. Thanks again to PlecoCaves.com. And uh, hopefully I recommend them to anybody. I'm going to start putting them in my tanks here. Maybe I'll do a couple videos. You'll be seeing them in the future in my fish tank. So if you're looking for some, some cool caves or you're trying to find that particular cave for your
through cichlid and Anthrocostomus breeding, and they need something a little bit special like calvis, or maybe they just don't like the particular pleco case you have, there's tons of options out there, and they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg either. So throw a bunch of caves in there for them, and they'll enjoy it, and hopefully they'll make some babies for you. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.